Did you know Jubilee had her first live action appearance earlier than other X-Men? More on that later. Her first appearance is in X-Men the Animated Series. Voiced by Allison Cortland, she's the first X-Men we see in the show. Jubilee, a mutant with a knack for generating explosive energy blasts and a passion for video games, is initially part of a foster family. She joins the X-Men after Cyclops brings her into the fold after the team saves her from the clutches of Sentinels. Throughout the series, she develops close relationships with teammates like Gambit and Wolverine. Her character is the method the show had for introducing the whole team, and the first season starts with us almost seeing the story unfold from her perspective. She's a punky teenage Chinese-American girl who wears a long yellow coat over jean shorts and a pink tank top. Her hair is black and kept short. She wears large earrings and isn't seen without her over-the-top sunglasses or blue boots. By the series' concluding episodes, her appearance is updated with jean shorts, a peach shirt, a brown jacket, and longer hair. Her bright pink glasses still perched on her head. You guys are the best foster parents I ever had. But Professor Xavier's school is its the best place for people like me. The same version appears in Spider-Man the Animated Series in 1995 too, in a crossover episode with the friendly neighborhood Spider. She attempts to stop Spidey from leaving when the professor is unable to help cure his mutation, but it's not much use. In 1996, we got a live-action version of Jubilee in a TV pilot called Generation X, based on the comic of the same name. Heather McComb plays Jubes here, and aside from the obvious that she isn't Chinese, the look is pretty consistent with what we'd expect. A yellow coat, short messy hair, and a love for bright neon like the yellow lipstick she's wearing at the arcade where we see her sparking powers for the first time. There's no wonder this low-budget pilot never got picked up fully, but it's crazy that Jubilee shows up in live action before Wolverine does. But I'm a bad girl, and I've got some nasty mutant tricks, so just back off! Jubilee makes a small cameo in 2000's X-Men live action film. She's shown as a student at the Institute, and can be seen finishing a lesson with Professor X as Wolverine enters his office for the first time. She isn't named on screen, but a deleted scene confirms this young girl with the yellow coat is, in fact, Jubilee. Jubilee returns in X-Men Evolution, where she's part of the New Mutants, the junior X-Men team. This version is shown as a Chinese girl with a bit of a tan and long straight black hair. She rocks a yellow jacket over a light purple long sleeve shirt, dark blue jeans, and brown high-heeled boots. Plus, she's wearing some cool silver earrings. She got written out in the third season but a peek into the future shows she makes her way back to the X-Men eventually. Hey guys, check this out! <laughs> Jubilee appears again in X2 X-Men United in 2003, again in a cameo role. This time, Kia Wong takes on the role. She's one of the students Stryker kidnaps during his attack on the Institute that Nightcrawler and Storm end up rescuing. Her outfit is a little less colorful, with a green jacket replacing the bright yellow, as seen in a deleted scene where she's at the museum with her fellow students. But her style is consistent with the rebellious image from previous appearances. Kia Wong's Jubilee appears again in The Last Stand in 06. She's present in one of the professor's classes, and is also at his funeral later in the movie after he tragically passes. Concept art based on Jamie Chung's likeness reveals Jubilee was almost cast in Days of Future Past, her black shawl-like outfit was designed to help her hide from sentinels. In X-Men Apocalypse in 2016, Jubilee has a small role. This time, she is portrayed by Lana Condor. The look is almost the iconic animated series look, but her hair is longer in pigtails, and her top is black. Here, we see her tagging along with Jean and Scott when Nightcrawler wants to see what the mall looks like before she's incapacitated by Stryker's men after the explosion at the mansion. Then. She's seen again watching Jean and Magneto rebuild the school at the end of the movie. X-Men 97 gives a lot of development to Jubilee's character. Right from the start, she's the one introducing Sunspot to the school, which is almost a role reversal compared to how she started the original animated series run. In Episode 4, we see her turning 18, developing a romantic relationship with Sunspot, and being trapped inside the Motendo, Mojo's video game television show that sees her have to take on Sentinels, the Savage Land, and even a boss fight against Magneto. This time, she's voiced by Holly Chow. But in Episode 4, a digital copy of Jubilee called Abyska appears, voiced by Allison Court, who originally voiced Jubilee in the 90s animated series. So, Magneto was right. A bit. 
But he's totally wrong about one thing. Video games rule.